Oh, and one more good reason to uh, own a pickup truck, Brad, Alex's food dish, hubcap right off a Chevy pickup truck. And her water dish, a GMC pickup truck hubcap. Till next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 98. Our motoring tip of the week concerns fluid leaks. We were looking for ideas for topics and our viewers chimed in. Uh, Linville Grant Price asks, what if your truck is leaking colored fluid? What color fluids are there and what are they caused from? So there's a lot of different colored fluids. Now typically motor oil is a light golden color when it's uh, fresh and clean and you know recently installed in the vehicle. But as motor oil uh, has been in for a number of miles or kilometers, it changes color because one of its properties is detergency. It dissolves uh, contaminants and it will darken with age. Now transmission fluid, typically a bright red color and it maintains its color pretty much through its entire life unless the transmission is about to fail. Here's an example of three different radiator coolants and very distinctly different colors depending on the make, model and year of vehicle they would go in. So the color is often something that's useful uh, a useful tool when you're trying to identify a fluid leak, but it wouldn't be the only thing that I would use. I, I would ask a customer when they call me, you know, what color is, is that fluid that you see on the ground, but I'd also want to know where it's located relative to the vehicle because I know a certain component is located in a certain area of the vehicle, and if the color matches with that component that's there, I put two and two together and I assume the leak is there. However, there's a lot of other things you have to keep in mind. For example, engine coolants could be orange, they could be red, they could be a blue, they could be a bright green. So depending on the vehicle, the make, model, and year, they could be different colors. So you gotta know what you started with as well. Now, as far as the background goes, when it falls on the ground, if it falls on asphalt, a lot of fluids like gasoline or oil will dissolve a bit of the asphalt and it's gonna look black. But if it falls on concrete, we've got a slab of concrete right over there, it's gonna maintain its color, clarity, and consistency because it can't dissolve the concrete. So there's a lot of factors at play, but make sure when you've identified that you've got a fluid leak, check all your levels right away because the leak in itself may not be catastrophic, but if you're running the engine coolant or, or engine oil really low, you're apt to damage something. So check the levels and then go looking for your leak armed with all that info. That's your motoring tip of the week.